a lot of you watching this, you've been burned out by church, by ministry, by helping people, and just being a part of the process and putting yourself all in, putting your heart out there. And then you go through hurt, you go through pain, you go through rejection, misunderstanding. And it just leaves you scrambling. And it leaves you in a place of a lot of hurt and pain. I'm reminded of a story in the scriptures where Peter, he's a guy that I really relate to. He was all in with Jesus, made big statements and declarations, and man, I'll be with you to the end. And Jesus told him, you know what? You're actually going to betray me. And basically, in essence, you're going to mess up, just to let you know. And I'm praying for you. And Jesus spoke to Peter so many times about his potential. And Jesus said, I'm praying that your faith doesn't fail you. When Satan comes to sift you and just wreck you, out of the pain and heartache you're going through. I pray that your faith doesn't fail. And so fast forward to the end, Peter is down by the water. He's betrayed Jesus. Our Lord has been crucified. And G Peter makes this statement. He says, I'm just going to go fishing. I'm going to go back to fishing. In other words, I'm going to go back to what I knew. And some of you right now, you're in a place in a temptation where you've said, you know what? I'm just going back to what I know. I'm going back to what's, in, what's familiar. I'm going back to just selling insurance, or I'm just going back to just, just hanging out. I'm just going to go back to status quo. And Jesus, when he visited after his ascension, when he walked around and or before he ascended, he comes to Peter and he says, Peter, and he's down by the river there, putting some, some fish over the fire. And Jesus says, do you love me? And Peter's like, of course I do. And it's kind of like, yes, I love you, Jesus, but all this other stuff and my failures, and it's just too hard. It's just too difficult. And Jesus' words were not, you know what? Spend the next 10 years and get well and then come back. He said, Peter, go feed my sheep. Go feed the lambs. Go feed the body of Christ. Get back in the game. And it's one of the greatest pieces of advice that we could have in our pain and in our hurt. Yes, get it healed. Yes, address those areas. But isn't it interesting, when Peter betrayed Christ, he was warming his hands by the fire. And when Jesus came and said, feed my sheep, what's he doing? Warming up fish and warming himself up by the fire. I believe our Lord was renewing in his mind what it meant to be healed and to get back into the game. And so for many of you today, that's the thing that you need to hear is that get out there and feed his sheep. Now it may look different. It may be different this time around, but don't ever give up because there's a call in your life that God wants to work. And enemy in, the enemy in his desire is to steal, kill, and destroy, to sift out the call of God in your life, to sift out who you are and just get you to go, you know what, I'm going back to the old life. And God's saying, get back in the game, because if you'll allow me to heal the hurt in your life, you'll come back stronger. You'll actually come back with a greater leverage over the works of darkness as you minister blessing and healing to people's lives.